We've got an equation that we want to solve and the equation has fractions. So our first step is going to be to multiply both sides by the denominator. And the denominator in this one is X and this one is X. So we're going to multiply both sides by X. If I multiply both sides by X, that is going to lead me to distributing the X through the left side and distributing the X through the right side. If I multiply X times X, I'm going to get X squared. Okay, then X multiplied by three over X, this X is gonna cancel that X. So I'm left with plus three. Bring down my equal sign. Okay, now let's multiply X times seven and that gives me seven X. And then X multiplied by negative nine over X, the X is cancel and I'm left with negative nine. All of my fractions are gone and I'm left with something that's quadratic, X to the second power. So I'm gonna move all the terms to the same side and I, I'm going to factor this one and not use the quadratic formula. So if I know I'm going to factor, I would really like the leading coefficient on x squared to be positive, which tells me I'm going to move these two terms to the left side, because if I moved x squared to the right side, I would have negative x squared. Okay, so let's subtract 7x and add 9. 3 and 9 makes 12. Now that I have everything on the same side, I'm going to factor thinking of two numbers that multiply together to get 12 and add up to negative seven. That's going to be negative three and negative four. So this factors to X minus three times X minus four. Using the zero property, if two things multiply together to get zero, then one of them is gonna be zero. So let's set each factor equal to zero. Solve, add three add four and I get three and four. These do happen to be my final answers, but just a quick reminder, if your original equation has a variable in the denominator, checking your answers are not, it's not optional. You have to do it because you're worried about the numbers leading you when you substitute it back in the original to divide by zero. But in this one, if I substitute three into the original, I have three over three, nine over three, plug in four, three over four, nine over four. I'm not dividing by zero, so it works out. If we would have gotten zero as an answer, three divided by zero would be an error and we'd have to throw it out.